Hi, welcome to Shruti Lakshmi's virtual class. Today we're going to see some word problems on simple interest. Alice borrowed dollar eight thousand from Zoe at seven percent per year. We have to find the interest and the amount to be paid at the end of two years. So let's list the given data. So Alice borrowed dollar eight thousand. So the principal is dollar eight thousand, and the rate of interest is seven percent. So to remove the percentage sign, we do seven by hundred. So we have to find the interest and the amount to be paid at the end of two years. So the time period is two years. So we have to find the interest and the amount. The formula to find the interest is P into R into T. Here we know principal, the rate of interest, and the time period. So it will be easy for us to find the simple interest. So let's substitute. So I equal to Principal is the dollar eight thousand into the rate of interest is seven by hundred into the time period which is two. So when we simplify this, we get one thousand one hundred and twenty. So the interest is one thousand one hundred twenty. Now to find the amount. There is a formula which is principal plus interest. Here we know the principal and the interest. So the principal is eight thousand and the interest is one thousand one hundred twenty. So when we add this together, we get the amount which is nine thousand one hundred and twenty. So Alice has to pay dollar nine thousand one hundred and twenty at the end of two years with the simple interest of dollar one thousand one hundred and twenty to Zoe. Let's see another example. Joe borrowed dollar eight thousand five hundred from a bank at a particular rate of simple interest. After the end of three years, he paid. Eleven thousand fifty dollars to settle his debt. At what rate of interest he borrowed the money? So Joe borrowed eight thousand five hundred from a bank, which is the principal. So the principal here is eight thousand five hundred. Principal is denoted by the letter P. After three years. So the time period here is three years. Time is denoted by the letter T. After three years, he paid dollar eleven thousand fifty to settle his debt. So the total amount he paid to settle his debt is eleven thousand fifty, or the amount. Amount is denoted by the letter A. Here they asking at what rate of interest he borrowed the money. So we have to find the rate of interest, which is denoted by the letter R. Since we know the principal and the amount, we can easily find the simple interest from this formula: amount equal to principal plus interest. So let's substitute the values. So the amount is eleven thousand fifty, and the principal is eight thousand five hundred. So we have to find the interest. When this eight thousand five hundred comes to the other side, it becomes eleven thousand fifty minus eight thousand five hundred. So when we subtract this, we get two thousand and. Five hundred and fifty. Interest is denoted by the letter I. 
Now, since we know the principal, the time period and the interest, we can easily find the rate of interest by using this formula. Interest equal to principal into rate of interest into time. So, let's substitute the values. Here, interest is 2550 and the principal is 8500. And the rate of interest, we don't know. So, we just write into R and the time period is 3 years. Here, 8500 into 3 is in the numerator. When we bring it to the other side, it becomes the denominator. So, it's 2550 by 8500 into 3 equal to R. So, let's simplify this. So, 0 and 0 cross out and next 1 into 3 is 3 and 85 into 3 is 255 and 85 into 1 is 85 and 85 into 10 is 850. So, when we simplify this, we get 1 by 10. So, R is 1 by 10. Rate of interest is always in percent. In order to change 1 by 10 to a percent, we multiply by 100. So, 1 by 10 into 100. So, 0 and 0 cancel. And next we get R is 10%. So, draw borrowed the money at the rate of interest of 10%. Let's see another example. In what time will dollar $16,500 amount to dollar $22,935 at 13% per year? First, let's list the given data. The principal is $16,500 and the total amount is $22,000. 1935 and the interest rate is 13% per year. To remove this percentage sign, we write it as 13 by 100. Since we know the principal and the amount, we can easily find the simple interest. With this formula, amount equal to principal plus interest. So, let's substitute the values. The amount is 22,935 and the principal is 16,500 plus we need to find the interest. So, when the 16,500 comes to the other side, it becomes minus 16,500. And when we subtract this, we get 6,435 which is the interest. Now, since we know the interest and the principal and the rate of interest, we can easily find the time. So, by using this formula, which is interest equal to principal into rate of interest into time. So, let's substitute the values. So, the interest is 6,435. And the principal is 16,500 and the rate of interest is 13%. We wrote it as 13 by 100. So, into 13 by 100. And then into, we have to find the T value. Let's cross out these two zeros and these two zeros. Right now, 165 into 13 is in the numerator. When we bring it to the other side, it becomes the denominator. So, it becomes 6435 by 165 into 30 equal to T. So, 1 times 13 is 13. And 
495 times 13 is 6435 and 1 into 165 is 165 and 3 into 165 is 495. So from this we come to know that T is 3 years. So in 3 years dollar 16500 will amount to dollar 22935 at 13% per year. Thanks for watching.